If you think that your pressure switch is bad because you're hearing air escape out of it, um, I'm gonna go through the process to kind of diagnose whether it is actually your pressure switch or your check valve. Um, few misconceptions is because air is escaping through your unloader. Uh, it feels like the air is coming through your base plate and out the gasket, which a lot of individuals think then their switch is bad. Uh, so through the next few steps in the video, we'll go through, let this run, let air escape out of it and show a few different ways that it will uh, show you that it's actually your check valve. As you can hear air escaping, uh, if you put your finger down below the unloader near the base plate of the pressure switch, you can feel the air there, um, which makes people think that the uh, switch is what's bad and it's leaking through the plate. A uh, way to check that, if it's actually right or not, is to remove your check valve pipe. And if you remove it and you have the uh, air flowing through it. Uh, it's actually your check valve not seating properly, so your check valve needs to be replaced. Now that we've gone through and figured out that the air leak isn't actually coming from our switch, but coming from our check valve, we'll go through the steps on replacing the check valve. First, you'll need a half inch wrench to remove the motor pipe here. working in tight quarters. That removed. Also need a three quarter inch. moved out of the way and then the actual check valve takes a 7 8 inch wrench now that we're getting our check valve out um, we will then install the new check valve Get it in and then use our 7 8 wrench to tighten it down and into place. sure this aligns up and we'll get our unloader attached. Use a half inch wrench to tighten that up. Good and snug. Use our three quarter inch wrench. Fasten the coupler down here. As well as refasten this up here.
and get that nice and snug. We'll check our switch. Make sure the unloader is fastened down tight again. We'll do a quick test run. Make sure that everything is uh, where it should be. And if everything was installed correctly and your check valve was not defective upon installation, you'll find that you have no more air leaks coming out of your unloader. So that noise you thought may have been coming out of your switch was in fact your check valve.